today's recipe banana extract the alcohol version let's get started Welcome back again. So you saw the non-alcoholic version of the banana extract. So today we are going to make the alcoholic version of my extract. And what we're going to use an alcoholic version is we're going to use um, the banana itself. You can't see me, and some alcohol. All right. So let me go back in the light. Come. Here and show you all. We're gonna use the banana, banana itself, and we're going to use some alcohol with that. So let's get busy. All right, my lovely people. So as I said, we have the ripe bananas. We have a jar, and we have something to crush it in. So we're gonna put the bananas inside of here. I want this to be really, really stronger. And just, just mash it up. Mash, mash, mash it up. And if you want to use your blender and just mash it up, you can do that also. And this is a very ripe banana. Then I'm going to put it in the alcohol. I want it to cover it, okay? You can use vodka to do that. It's mainly done with vodka. I would use white oak. But you want to stay traditional if you wish and you want to use some you can use the um, vodka right so i'm going to continue smushing this a little bit and i'll come back all right my people welcome back so we did this on the 5th of january i left it for seven days today is the 12th of january now you would see my the skin the extra that we made with the skin on Wednesday, which would be the thirteenth, and you would see this the Saturday coming. All right, so they will be right after each other, a few days after each other. So today is the twelfth of January. So we left this soaking in the alcohol. This was the banana puree that we placed in the alcohol. You can use vodka. I didn't use vodka this time around. I use uh, white oak. So uh, you can try using white oak or vodka. I did make a batch with this and also the same day with vodka but this one i am this one i am going to strain for you now is not vodka this one is white oak all right so first i'm going to use a strainer and then i am going to use a tea towel you can use a cheesecloth all right let me get some more light in here i do hope your year is going well thus far so much of drama taking place worldwide it's not even funny guys be safe protect yourself and your family all right i think that's enough light yes ladies and gentlemen okay so let me stop talking let's unscrew this jar and let's get this going so as i said we'll do two straining here we're going to use this plus a tea towel 
and the amount of vodka that uh sorry well the vodka and the um white that i did use i only used enough to cover the bananas okay you will see what happening here see how clear and nice it's coming out and this was not stored in the refrigerator it was stored in a nice bag spot ladies and gentlemen you can use this for your banana bread and get that nice banana bread taste just as you would get if you actually use the banana itself but as i said in the previous video you're about trying to cut down on your carbs and the more carbs you cut down in your weight loss process, it's the better results and faster results you're going to get in your process in your weight loss journey or your whole journey basically health-wise and eating-wise, you know? So, you know, and it is still going. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to let it sit here and let it continue to drain until it stops because there is so much more in this. I don't want to squeeze it because I do not want any of the banana to get through. Even though this is a two-layered um, strainer, I still don't want to get any particles of the banana in here because you can clearly see that thus far there is nothing like that getting in here. And I want to keep it that way. And still I'm going to give it a, another strain just to be safe because... I do not want any particles of the banana itself in my extract. I just want the liquid, a nice banana infused flavor in that liqueur. So I'm just going to let it sit here for about five minutes and I will be back with you all. All right, guys. So I had it running actually for 10 minutes and you can see we got up to a cup. A little more than a cup, not too, too much. So let me just say we call it a cup. And I let that run for 10 minutes. I want to show you all this though. It's looking so dry, like we extracted like all the juice out that we could possibly get from this. But watch this. It's like the more it kept, it just kept going and going and going. And I was like, I am really impressed with this thing. It's like more and more juice keep coming. But I, as I said, I do not want to press anything to make any particles get into my um, here into my container there I would with the bulk of it so I think we are at the end here I think there is up to, well I thought so <laughs> so this really was a success and the banana aroma up in here is something else something else so this is the bananas that um from the skin that i use so that was six bananas i placed in into my mason jar i placed six the six ripe bananas as you saw in the beginning and i placed the alcohol just to cover it and then I decided to put a little bit again. You know, I just want to make sure that there is enough. It is proper. But basically, I put enough alcohol in it to cover the six bananas. After mushing the bananas like in, into a puree. So you can use a hand blender and blend up the, the bananas. Or do like me and just muddle it. So... It would be easier if you just use a hand blender, right? And you place your alcohol to cover it and you place it there to relax for a week. And you can go longer because remember, this is alcohol. Nothing is going to happen to the bananas. So you want to keep checking and if you find the alcohol level is going down, you want to just, you know, top it up, you know, if, you, if, you think, if you're going longer then. Because for the seven days, I didn't need to do anything whatsoever. I just left the amount that I put in there and today the 12th of January I am straining it and as I said I got a little more than a cup and this is the consistency here of what we have remaining please don't be grossed out by it right it's not it's not and it was overly ripe bananas you know and you know it's really holding nicely 
so this really was a success so now how i'm going to use this i'm going to use this to make banana bread of course i am going to use it to make the banana bread and i'm not going to use the normal flour i'm going to use almond flour again we're talking about cutting back on carbs but if you're trying to make a little cheat day snack and you want to just enjoy that banana but again you're not using the banana itself but the extract go ahead and use your normal flour but if you're keeping it on a healthy thing use an almond flour or some kind of bean flour and you can get a nice flavored bread and also pancakes you can also add this into a cocktail there is so many ways you can use this extract even the one prior which was the one with the skin that was the non-alcoholic version that one the one i'm going to keep in the refrigerator so ladies and gentlemen this was a success and thanks for watching another quick extract video i do hope this was helpful for you those of you who are thinking about starting a lifestyle journey and don't want to change but tweak your recipes a little bit to still enjoy the things that you love but not actually enjoy the things itself with the ingredients that is bad for you i do hope this was helpful and i do hope you give it a try happy new year again for those of you that i haven't told happy new year or first time coming across my channel and thanks for the support and don't forget to check out the previous extract which would be the banana non-alcoholic version that we previously made thanks for watching bye